Let's make a car rim. When I Google car rim on the internet, I find all of these really cool rims. Let's make a rim of our own in on shape. What we want is the profile of the rim. So if I type in profile, this is what I'm looking for is something like this, this profile. It's kind of a Y shape. So here we have a bit of a Y shape. Now we're not gonna match this exactly, so we're gonna just make our own, but you get the idea here that this car rim is made from a bit of a Y shape form. So let's start. Say create a document, car rim. Let's choose our front view and sketch. And letter N to flatten it. I don't want the work plane to be visible, so I'm gonna choose letter P, and that will hide or show the work plane, the letter P. And I'm gonna start with the line command. And you could start anywhere. If you wanna start from the center point, that's fine. Or you could start out here. I'm gonna start from here. And I'm gonna go up to here, 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 like that. Hit escape, and I'm gonna center it on the page, and zoom out a little bit. Now I'm gonna use the offset command select all of this and offset it in that direction and again I can pull that offset out I can reverse the offset but we'll just have it right about there not too worried about dimensions for this activity so we'll just accept it now line command again where I can push the letter L and I'm going to come out this way and this way Escape, offset. Now I want to select all these lines. I could draw a square around it, or I just hold the shift key to select multiple. And you can see there's my offset there. I'm going to zoom down here. I want to extend this out. There's some great tools under the trim command. Extend does just that. If I click on it and I click on the other line that I want to extend it to, it will extend that line out. And I want to trim this. So I go back up to my trim command, get rid of that, hit L for line. And I want to fill these in here. It's important that you have completely enclosed shape. And again, it's not important what the shape looks like, but it does need to be in somewhat of a Y form. If we look back at that car rim, you have this Y form. And car rims can be in many different forms. Now the fun begins. We're going to use a command called revolve. I'm going to accept this sketch, close the sketch out, and now the revolve command is here. It's this button here. So I need to select and then I choose the axis that I want to revolve around. I click the axis and do you see what happened? is it revolved this pattern around this pole, you could say. Now, I could undo this, click that, and I want to revolve it around a different axis. Let's say I want to revolve it around this one. Do you see what it did? Is it took this shape and it revolved it around this center point here. But that's not what we want to do. And I want to flatten this out, so I'm going to just click on the front view, zoom out, and revolve this. And now I have to select this. Click on Revolve Axis around this, and I 
accept it, center this, and look at that, there's my tire rim. Next, let's put a center hub in place. To do that, I'm going to select this, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to put a new sketch on that surface that I selected. I'm going to hit N, and now I'm going to make a circle right in the middle here. About like that. I'm going to accept that sketch. I'm going to turn it a little bit. I'm going to zoom in a little. Sometimes this helps. I'm going to make sure I've selected it and this whole area is turned color. I'm going to right click and extrude this. And I'm going to bring it out just a little bit. I'm just grabbing this arrow, I can control that extrusion. Hit return, and now I have my center hub. Now let's put the hex nuts around the outside of this. To do this, I select the surface again I want to sketch on. New sketch, in to flatten it out. This time, I'm going to put a polygon on. I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to put it right about in there. Just like that. Now do you see this? I can add or subtract the amount of sides here. So I can say I want three-sided, four-sided, I want to do five-sided. Accept it. Now I'm not real happy with this. These two are a bit different and a lot of times in rims, car rims, they are different. But I want to extend this out a little bit. No problem, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to that original sketch. I'm going to click on it to activate it. I'm going to click in to flatten this out. And I'm going to modify this here by just grabbing the end of this and I'm going to drag this up like that. Now I hit accept and it updates that revolve. This is the story of our part that we're creating. Here's the original sketch, here's that revolve, here's the second sketch, here's the extrusion of that, here's the third sketch. I can go in and again change the story by clicking on any of these and modifying it. So I need an extrusion here, right click, I'm going to extrude this, and I'll bring it up just a little bit, accept it, okay, there's one. Something doesn't look quite right with that shape. So I'm going to go back into this sketch, double click it, and I'm going to click on this here. And instead of a five, I want six, six sided. And I accept it, and there we go. So again, I can make any changes I want to. Next. I want to take this and I want to duplicate it around. This is a cool feature. Watch this. I go up here. I have linear pattern, circular pattern, and so forth. I'm going to choose a circular pattern. Now it wants me to choose the entity that I want to pattern. So I'm going to select that. It shows one is selected. And now the axis, just like we did with the revolve, we need to choose a point about which will create this circular pattern. So I select axis. And I want to go around this circle. So I'm going to choose this circle, or I could choose this circle. It doesn't matter, because they all share the same common center point. So I'm going to choose this circle. And now instead of 4, I want 5. I hit Enter. And now it updated. So again, that was the circular pattern command. Let's go back to our car rim. We look at some of these rims, they have these cool spoke patterns that are cut through. Let's do the same on ours. To do this, I need a surface to work off of. So I'm going to choose this top surface. I'm going to right click, I'm going to say new sketch. 
N for centering it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And now I'm going to use the line command and I'm going to I'm going to go like this, like this, like this, like this and like that. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to grab this corner and move it in a little bit. Okay, looks good. Now, the circular pattern that we used for the feature, we're going to use for the lines. So watch this. In sketch mode, there is a circular pattern as well. I click on it, and now I want this, I'm going to hold the shift key, this, this, and this line. And instead of three, let's make it five. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that looks cool. All right, now I'm gonna accept, do you see the five sketches now? Now I'm gonna hold the shift key. I'm gonna select each area. Make sure you select the right area. Just like that. Sometimes it gets tricky selecting these. Sometimes zooming in helps. Looks like I have them all. Now I want to extrude. So I click extrude. I wanna remove material. And I want to go through all. And I'm going to choose Merge with All. And I hit Accept. And there is my rim.